So you have a Samsung Galaxy A02s and you have an issue where you forgot your password and you're trying to do a factory reset. But to do a factory reset, you have to first turn off your phone. But when you try to turn off your phone first, it's asking you for the password that you forgot. So what do you do? Listen very carefully. First thing I want to mention is don't forget with a factory reset, we're going to lose everything on there. So if you have anything important like photos and videos, important documents, all that's going to be long gone. Once we factory reset it, it's going to be as if you just bought this uh, brand new. Then you got to start off putting your Wi-Fi in, your new password, and so on. Okay. So listen very carefully. Now this is what we're going to do first. First thing is what we're going to do is we're going to force it to restart. What we're going to do is press the uh, volume down and the power button at the same time. Both buttons, volume down, power. We're going to press and hold these bu both buttons. Keep on holding. As soon as it vibrates one time, let go of only the volume down and then press and hold the volume up. Continue to hold the uh, power button, okay? So we're going to do this together. So let me explain again. Volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons. As soon as it vibrates one time, the first time, let go of the volume down and then press and hold the volume up. You're still holding on to the uh, power button, okay? And then as soon as you see the Samsung logo, we can let go of both buttons. We're going to do it together. Ready? Volume down, power. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. Just keep on holding, waiting for the vibrate. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen. Wait for it to vibrate. Wait, wait. It's going to vibrate. There it is. And then volume up. Now I'm holding volume up and I'm still holding. It never took my finger off the power button. Now I'm just going to, just going to wait until I see the Samsung logo appear. Right there, now I'm going to go and let go, and hopefully that worked. If it didn't, then I'm going to give it a second try. This should boot us up into the uh, Android recovery menu. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to do it. Okay, it's just basically forced restarting. It's just booting back up. So we're going to do this again. What I did wrong was as soon as it vibrate, I had to move faster. Okay, I didn't move fast enough. So let's wait for this to boot back up, and I'm going to do a, uh, we'll do a second try. Okay, so same thing now. So even if I try to turn off my phone, I got to put in a password that I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Ready? Volume down, power. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. Keep on holding volume down and power. Just keep on holding. Don't worry what's, what's happening to the screen. Just keep on holding until we feel it vibrate. Wait. Once it vibrates, I'm going to... Oh, it just vibrated. Now I'm pressing and holding the volume up. Samsung logo, now I'm going to let go of both buttons and hopefully that boots us up into the Android recovery menu. Let's see if it worked this time. Okay, I think we got it. There we go. We're in business, guys. So, to perform a factory reset, what you do is uh, you can use the volume rockers to move up or down. What you want to do is go down to where it says white data slash factory reset. Also, a very important note down here, it says um, if, you, if your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account, your Gmail account, information okay so in other words what this is saying is in your email app if you if you uh, put in your uh, gmail address doesn't matter if you put in one two three or ten different email addresses gmail addresses you would need to know one of those email addresses with the passwords just one of those now if you don't have any uh, gmail addresses in your email app or you deleted them all then it's not going to ask you that when you go ahead and try to set it up, okay? So anyway, wipe data slash factory reset. I'm going to proceed with that. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the power button here. It just basically says this cannot be undone when you do it. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and factory reset. I'm going to erase everything off this phone. Factory data reset. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the power button right there. Give this one second here. Okay, uh, data wipe is complete. Now it defaults back, it highlights reboot system now. That's fine. Now go ahead and tap on the power button to go ahead and restart. And this may take a little while, may take like two or three minutes. So just be patient for it to boot back up. And once we're booted back up, it'll be in the very beginning as if you just bought a brand new, you have to choose your language and so on. And I'll sit on this uh, Samsung logo for a few minutes. So just be patient. And voila, we're in business. And then from here, you can go ahead and set it up or um, start from the beginning, or you can go ahead and you can sell it or whatnot. But anyway, in regards to the, uh, for me, I'm going to go English here, US. Now, now don't forget with the uh, the Gmail and all that, after you go to a couple steps, if you had a Gmail link to your, e your, um, your email app, it'll ask you for one of the uh, emails with password. 
like like a few more steps after here okay so pretty simple any questions or anything just uh comment below all right good luck guys